Good morning, everyone, and happy new day to you all. Uh, my name is Karen Dubin. I am the Chief Operating Officer for Sweet Institute, and I have been reading with you on Becoming a Person um, by Carl Rogers, A Therapist's View of Psychotherapy, and we have just begun Chapter 7. And so I'm going to read this first part of Chapter 7, which is really just going to be 125 um, to the middle of 126. And then the next time we meet, I will read uh, the next little section in here as well. So here we go. Let's get started. And chapter seven, a process conception of psychotherapy. In the autumn of 1956, I was greatly honored by the American Psychological Association, which bestowed upon me one of its first three distinguished scientific contribution awards. There was, however, a penalty attached to the ward, which was that one year later, each recipient was to present a paper to the association. It did not appeal to me to review work which had been done in the past. I decided rather to devote the year to a fresh attempt to understand the process by which personality changes. I did this, but as the next autumn approached, I realized that the ideas I had formed were still unclear, tentative, hardly in shape for presentation. Nevertheless, I tried to set down, I tried to set down the jumbled sensings, which had been important to me, out of which was emerging a concept of process different from anything I had clearly perceived before. When I had finished, I found I had a paper much too long to deliver, so I cut it down to an abbreviated form for presentation on September 2nd, 1957, to the American Psychological Convention in New York. The present chapter is neither as long as the initial form nor as abbreviated as the second form. It will be discovered that, th that though the two preceding chapters view the process of therapy almost entirely from a phenomenological point of view, from within the client's frame of reference, this formulation endeavors to capture those qualities of expression which may be observed by another and hence views it more from an external frame of reference. Out of the observations recorded in this paper, a scale of process in psychotherapy has been developed which can be applied operationally to excerpts from recorded interviews. It is still in process of revision and improvement. Even, if in, even in its present form, it has reasonable interjudge reliability and gives meaningful results. Cases by which other criteria are known to be more successful show greater movement on the process scale than less successful cases. Also, to our surprise, it has been found that successful cases begin at a higher level on the process scale than do unsuccessful cases. Evidently, we do not we do not yet know with any satisfactory degree of assurance how to be of therapeutic help to individuals whose behavior when they come to us is, typic is typical of stages one and two as described in this chapter. Thus, the ideas of this paper, poorly formed and incomplete as they seem to me at this time, are already opening up new and challenging areas for thought and investigation. So that is uh, the beginnings of section of chapter seven. Uh, the next time we meet, we'll do we'll start with the puzzle process, and um, and read the rejected method and maybe the uh, the mode approach as the next two parts, since those parts are a bit uh, shorter than the others. So have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I look forward to reading for all of you again um, um, next time. And and. Uh, and thank you all for being here.